welcome to another video it's saturday afternoon it's 2 p.m i am just in the flat i'm just home and i don't have to leave the flat for another well till monday morning really we were up to something quite exciting this morning so in the next like year or so matt and i are hoping to maybe buy a flat um so this morning we kind of went to well we went to st albans because we we're trying to scope out a neighborhood where we can afford my tummy's rumbling where we could afford a house um probably two bedrooms that is commuting distance into central london so we saw three properties today we didn't love any of them we're not going to be making offers on things but we are like getting the ball rolling because you don't just randomly you know have enough money for a deposit and then just like buy a house straight away i think it all takes lots of time in the uk i think england specifically has got like quite a different system to a lot of other countries and it's all a bit chaotic yeah we wanted to get a good idea and a feel for what we can afford and what neighborhoods we like and you know travel times and weirdly enough this is how weird london is the commute would be quicker from st albans to our offices than it is from balham and balham is in zone three and st albans is like not technically in london at all they all had wood burning stoves they were like kind of little cottage terrace sort of victorian houses um and they're all lovely. The high street was gorgeous. And yeah, we went for a little bit of lunch. We went to Megan's, just had like some brunch there in between some of the viewings. Had a little debrief and like chatted through what we liked, what we didn't like. And it was just a really nice morning. So Matt is currently at football and I went to Waitrose on my way home, picked up some bits for dinner tonight and then also for tomorrow. But let me actually quickly just show you what I got from Waitrose. I absolutely love the supermarket haul. Please tell me if you find it boring because it's literally one of my favourite things to watch and I don't know if I'm just weird or if everyone likes to see these things. Um, let me prop you up. I also have the heating on and we've got the lamp on. It's cosy vibes in here today. And look at my beautiful tulips. Hopefully you can see me like this. I'm like crouching but I think it's fine. I'm going to show you what I got from Waitrose. Bread, of course, a normal sized loaf. I don't know if you saw in my last video when I was mid-period, but Matt got a small loaf of bread last time and the slices are like that size. I can't make a sandwich with that. Who's buying those loaves? It must be for old ladies, right? Then Waitrose are doing two for eight pounds on their meatballs and I thought that for tomorrow night's dinner it's going to be easy enough just to do some meatballs. So I got two packets. They are like 24, yeah, 24 meatballs and I got one packet for tomorrow and then another packet just to go in the freezer because they're nice and slim and they'll fit in our tiny shoebox freezer. Our freezer is literally the size of this loaf of bread as well. Um, I then got a bag of salad. I just get like the essential Waitrose one. I think it's good enough. I mostly have that in like as a side salad or with like in my sandwiches. So I also picked up some herbs because I just love cooking with herbs and like different spices and stuff. So I got some coriander, love coriander, like mega fan of coriander. I used to think it tastes like soap and now I don't. So I don't really believe the whole gene thing of whether you taste the soap or not. Anyway, I love it. I got some parsley because I also love parsley on my salads. Obviously I love basil and stuff in salads too, but I just thought, let me get these. And then dill, because I love dill as well. It goes so well with tuna, it goes so well with salmon. It's really good with a lot of fish dishes, but it's also really nice on everything. Garnish, sprinkle and blend, it says on there. So yeah, I love dill. I got the garlic bread of green. So, I don't know if you've heard me rab it on before, but I love Aldi's, gar Aldi's garlic bread. I love um, <laughs> Aldi's garlic bread. Oh my God, I'm saying it so weird now. Anyway, I love the garlic bread that Aldi does. It's really yummy. They get the crispy like bits on the outside. It's just like really, really nice, really fluffy bread. But this is the only thing that tops it. This is like triple the price though. And I don't believe in spending that much money, but I thought, let me just get it because the other options were just like the shit Waitrose one, which is nowhere near as good as like any of the other supermarket ones. So I thought I'll get this ciabatta. This is like roasted garlic ciabatta, which I think would be nice. I'm gonna have a couple of slices with my dinner tonight and then um, save most of it for our meatballs tomorrow night. I just realized I didn't get any tomato sauce for the meatballs. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna make a, oh, 
I have to I have to improvise on that. Maybe I'll pick some up tomorrow. Then Matt's dinner because he's at football. He asked me to pick him up a curry, so I get I got him chicken madras with an aloo gobi, which is like cauliflower and spinach and coriander, or whatever. Um, and then a week of curry. I got him some naan breads. I got him the mini ones because. I think if I get in the big ones, he just eats them all, all. And I think, yeah, it's important for two. I got some lemons because I've been cooking a lot with lemon recently and I feel like it adds so much flavor to salad dressings or like anything you cook really. And then I got an onion. Why did I get the onion, but I didn't get any of the other vegetables to make like a tomato sauce for the meatballs. I'm gonna have to go to the shop again tomorrow, but it's not the worst thing in the world because I kind of love going to the supermarket. I'm such a boring middle-aged person these days, but <laughs> anyway, I am now going to do some dishes, get cosy on the sofa, change out of my jeans and chill. I might do a bit of skincare with you later. Maybe. Let's see. Who knows? I also need to catch up on what I've been up to this week because I have some clips from some fun things that I've been up to, but let's chat later. It's a bit later now. I am about to cook some dinner for myself. I'm having a prawn chili garlic olive oil linguine which is like oh no it's spaghetti actually i've just seen the box behind you i am really getting into cooking lately like over the past maybe year or so living with matt and like being in our own kitchen our own space i'm just loving cooking i'm really really enjoying it and it's like one part of my personality that i don't think i show here very much although i do a lot of food hauls and i do a lot of like make lunch with me i don't show you any of my proper recipes so I thought I would just do that today. I'm going to cut up half a white onion, I'm get, or brown onion, I don't know what this is. It's white underneath, but it's brown on the skin. I'm probably going to put in like four cloves of garlic, because I'm obsessed with garlic. And I'm going to cut up the rest of this red onion. On Wednesday, Matt and I went to go and see our local like comedy show, which Honestly, it was so good. If you live in Ballam or like South West London at all, or even South London or wherever, Ballam Bowls Club do like a Thursday night, no, Wednesday night, like comedy night um, once a month. And they have some quite famous people. And the tickets were, I think they were £15 each, but obviously like you're supporting a local small um, like comedy show. So I really don't mind paying money for those. Um, and he was so good. And there was like, so many other comedians that were just like, quite obviously, like, I mean, they were quite young, so they were obviously quite early on in their careers, but they were so funny, like really, really funny. So I would highly recommend, um, and they put it on once a month and it was really good. So I, yeah, we went there, we had a few drinks um, and we watched the comedy and it was just a really cute little date night. It was in the office on Friday and just had like a pretty normal day, to be honest. Fridays in the office are like one of my favorite days because, everyone's in like a good spirit and like everyone's quite chatty and you know like we all just like have quite a nice wholesome Friday together. I really get on well with the people I work with. After work on Friday I met Matt at Clapton Craft which is one of the beer places in Balham, like a little beer, craft beer place and we sat and had a little drink, we had some of those bougie Torres crisps that were that we absolutely love and then we came home we had a weight shows. oh my god we've been spending so much money on food shopping these days like we hardly ever go out for meals now and it's always just like expensive food shops um but we had a weight dining dine in for two meal last night that was absolutely incredible it was like a chicken pie with i would never say this goes but matt really thinks it goes and he really wanted them so we got them but he really wanted the dauphinois potatoes so we had pie chicken and leek pie with dauphinois potatoes um, and we also got a starter, which was like these Cornish cheddar um, and red onion, caramelized red onion tarts. But Matt doesn't like stuff like that. And also we had such a big pie that we were kind of like, we definitely don't need a starter on top of all of this. So they're in the fridge still. And I'm probably going to have one of those for lunch, like one day this week. Okay, so I'm boiling the kettle for the pasta. I've cut up the red onion, white onion, and the garlic's ready to go. This one was extra big, so I'm just gonna do three. I'm gonna chop this bit, but I like to crush it straight into the pan because I like to sweat these down first and then add this because it always burns. And I am up pouring my water in my pot. 
I'm gonna prop up the camera and just let you guys watch what I'm doing because it's gonna get a, bit, a little bit tricky. Okay, dinner is ready. It doesn't look like much, but it's so yummy. It's just like garlic, chili, onions, some pesto, not pesto, tomato paste. Like really, really yummy. And then lots of juicy prawns. So it's very good. Before I sit and enjoy this properly, I thought I would just tell you my quick review of June 2. What a load of rubbish. Is it just me or am I literally the only person on planet Earth that can't get on board with these giant sandworms? We came out of the cinema because we went with like my brother and um like there was six of us that went and they all loved the show they all loved the movie and i was literally like did i watch the same thing as you guys like giant worms it was all about people riding on giant worms and zendaya hardly said a word so yeah i did not love the movie sadly but maybe it's just not my thing i think it's just not my thing um i'm gonna put some more olive oil on this I mean, it was cool graphics and everything, but I would definitely would not be rushing to go and see. I wouldn't say it was like worthy of all the hype it's been getting. The pasta is really good. Let's do a garlic bread taste test because that's my favourite bit. Love when the onions and like the tomatoes and the garlic go all like sticky together. It's so yummy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna enjoy it, and then I will chat to you guys in a little bit. It's way later, I've had dinner, Matt's home, We've he's had his dinner, we've had a little debrief about our days and our, about those properties that we went to see and talking about St Albans and everything. And I am gonna take some makeup off now and I think I'm gonna jump in the shower, but I thought I would just quickly show you what I've been using on my skin. We're gonna start with the La Roche-Posay Ethoclar Isobiome Cleanser, basically. It's a big one. My mum got me this for Christmas and I've been using it in between my Elmas Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and I'm really enjoying it. It's such a different texture, this cleanser. This is more of like a cream or gel texture, whereas the Elmas one is definitely oil-based. Um, both are really good at taking makeup off, but I would say this one definitely makes you feel a bit more like your skin's been cleaned, whereas I feel like the Elmas is more um, hydrating. Both are great and I think it's really good to have two in your stash use. I'm just going to rub this in. Normally I would do this in the shower. If I'm having a shower, I would just do this in the shower, but I want to show you. And I am going to remove it with my midgy face cloth. Okay, I got some of that in my eye and it is not sensitive for the eyes, so be very careful of that because my eyes are now like streaming. Anyway, that is the face all cleansed and now I'm going to go in and use the La Roche-Posay Retinol B3 Serum. I was using my Medicaid one for a long time. I think it's a great one. It's really strong. It really shows proper good results and it's very expensive. I actually got this for my birthday. My mum got me this because she knows I like the La Roche-Posay products. And I've been using it for the past few nights because I'm a regular retinol user these days. You can't just go in and start using that every single night. You have to build up to it, but I've been doing that for a while. And I'm really enjoying this one. I'm finding it's a little bit more gentle than the Medicaid one. And I think often with beauty products, I'm like, I don't want natural, I don't want everything to be all natural all the time. I'm like, I kind of want my retinol products to be strong and scientific and to actually work. This retinol is a little bit less intense than the Medicaid one, but it still is showing me results, if that makes sense. I'm still waking up with like really glowy skin in the morning because of it, um, but it's just not quite as harsh. Like 
sometimes when I put the medicate on at night and go to bed, my eyes would be streaming all night because it's such a potent, strong um, retinol. Whereas that I can put on, it doesn't cause me any irritation. Obviously, if you're using retinol, wear SPF every single day. Otherwise, you'll literally age your skin. Next, I'm going to go in with my Kiehl's Ultralight Facial Cream. This is like the same tub. I just love this. It's just such an easy, like, sensitive skin moisturizer. That is the skincare done. I'm going to quickly jump in the shower. I know it's a bit of a backwards way of doing it all, but I just kind of want to, yeah, have my shower and then get straight into bed. So. I'm going to put my hair up. I am obviously going to keep my face completely out of the water and I just want to have a really quick body shower just to kind of wash the day off. We've been up to St Albans, we've been out and about since like 8am and I don't feel like getting into bed feeling a bit like outdoorsy and like multiple trains and tubes. Um, a lot of my friends, well I can name two friends off the top of my head that literally every single night before bed will have a shower every single night just because of the germs and like pollution in London they'll like have a shower before bed and wash all the germs off them which makes total sense to me but in actual reality and practical like in practice I don't think I could commit to that every single night I'm too tired by the time I get home so anyway when I come out of the shower I am going to moisturize my body with the Clarins body soothing moisture milk Every time I look at the Clarins products, I start reading the French and then I'm like, late corpse hydrant and I can never get that far before I realise it's not even in English. So yeah, I'm going to use this all over my body. It smells amazing. It's like that beautiful Clarins rich person smell. <laughs> I always associate these with like French ladies. Um, yeah, very fancy. Uh, it's actually not fancy. It's pretty reasonably priced, but it just makes me feel fancy when I wear it. So I'm going to moisturise with this when I get out of the shower. Then I'm going to put my PJs on, brush my teeth and go to bed because I am exhausted. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to have another one up very soon. And thank you so much if you've like subscribed recently or like leaving me comments. I am obsessed with replying to my comments. I don't know if any of you noticed, but I reply within like two minutes um, because I'm always watching and like yeah, keeping an eye on them. I'm just loving it. So thank you so much. And if you stick around to the end of the video, then I love you even more. <laughs> I'll see you for the next one soon. Bye.